Hey, what is up, buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab, and to be honest, it's been a pretty long week in the lab here, so it's Sunday. We're just gonna kick back, chill, watch some war replays, eat some chips, listen to some tunes, you know, the whole deal. So come along with me, guys. We got some war replays today where I'm not using the king. Kind of cool. I'm hoping after the next update, we'll have the king and queen whenever, even if they're upgrading. I want upgrading heroes in war, but for now, we got to work with what we got. And today I was upgrading the king, so I couldn't use him. Let's see how it works. So guys, I'm, I'm zooming in on this base here because, oh my God, this was the perfect base. You see how low the defenses were, the expos are pointed down, and wait a minute. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like a serious head scratcher here. What is this guy doing? I honestly thought this was a trap. I was like, no way. Got to be a trap. There must be Teslas right here. There must be a whole gang of traps right here. There's no way he would leave an air defense, his queen, all these defenses outside. So I brought a golem to tank for me to kind of test the waters because I don't have my king. I, you know, I, I might have just used the king otherwise. But look. What? There's no traps? Hmm. Still. I'm still suspicious. But <laughs> keep going, guys. And you will see there is literally nothing wrong with this. For some reason... This guy just forgot his air defense outside or something like that. Anyway, looks like I'm getting out of the, the camera here. Let me fix that. Anyways, look up at the screen here, guys, and you will see we're coming along nicely. And basically, our golem and our queen, they're dying out. The queen, she's stuck on the, the, the lava hound, and that's it. Bye, queen. You did good, though. You did real good. So look up at the air troops, and you will see we are already getting into the base. Cruising. I'm using hay spells. Hay spells are my new favorite spell i just got them level two on this account and they rock already so if you're gonna do a lava loon attack like this i would recommend using two haste spells along with a couple of rage spells start out with the haste then use the rage once you're in the middle of the base do you guys see here this is a very simple attack all i did was just throw troops that's it <laughs> i mean there was a little strategy but not much and look at how successful this was sort of a lower level base with the uh, expos pointed down but still also guys look at this dude tried to troll me again with his tesla's on the outside but in the corners this this guy <laughs> is a very confusing uh very confusing player i i was very confused by how he had his base set up but anyway Confused or not, we are going to win for the three stars, even without the king. So, look at this, guys. Uh, what do you guys think about the hound on defense now? It's changed so much. Now that it only attacks ground troops, it seems to not be quite as effective. That's just my opinion. I, it is kind of annoying. You know, it still runs over to your wizards, like it did right there. It runs over to your queen, king. But really... You can just ignore the hound sometimes, which is great. Great. I love it. I kind of have started to use the dragon more in, in clan castle defense now. Dragon with balloons, archers, minions, stuff like that. So let me know what you guys are using in your clan war, clan castle for defense. Look at this, guys. Final building. Kaboom. Oh, wait. No. One, two, three. Kaboom. Got it. Anyway, nice three star. I'm number 12. He's number 12. Got it easily. And that's what it's all about. Since I'm a low-level Town Hall 9, I should be able to 3-star anybody that's around the same number as me. So there we go. Let's go check out another, guys. So anyways, guys, here is the next base. And whoa, again, epic base. I see this one all the time. I, I'm not trying to make fun of any of you guys if you use this base, but I don't know why this is so popular. Look, this fatal flaw right here. See it? Boom, right there. Two air defense right next to each other with a bunch of other key defenses. I think there's Teslas in there, and there's an Expo, and there's a Queen. So all we have to do is go in here with two golems, boom, boom, jump in, hippity hop into the core, and just kill it. And it's going to be just that easy, swear. Swear to God. <laughs> so let's check it out, guys. The most important part of this is putting the wizards on the sides. We've got to clear those sides or else our queen might not go in. And I do raids all the time where the queen screws up, she stays outside the base. No, we want her to go in, in, go in. So anyways, guys, if we did have a king, we would want to drop him really late, like a little before this. But we don't have the king, so we're just rocking. And we are rocking. Look at that queen, man. She is killing it. Wow. Wow. She just killed the clan castle, the enemy queen. 
and she just started taking shots. So now she's going to take out the final air defense. Boom, queen ability done. So she really killed it. Like, wow, we already took out, you know, half of the key defenses. Here come the air troops. Yeah, <laughs> this was a fun one, man. We're going to lead off with the hay spells. Going to be really patient here. No rush. You know, there's no rush. We're going to slowly go around this base. Hay spells, then rage spells, and then we're done. You know, simple, simple attack here. We even have one more rage spell. Notice I'm leading off with the hay spells and then using the rage later. It just seems to make more sense because later in the base, you should be taking on tougher defenses. You guys know what I mean? Definitely use the haste, guys. If you guys aren't already, I mean, I just started using haste on this account and I wasn't going to because it's low level. I only have level two haste, but it's more than enough. You know, upgrade your haste to at least level two and use it. I think level two is max for town online, so that's all I can use anyway. So what usually happens at this point in the raid, guys? I'm going to zoom out here and show you. Uh, I usually run out of time. Yeah, get the get the good old 98% one star or something like that. But not today. Right? No, not today. <laughs> we got a couple of goblins and lava pups and balloons around the base. And the balloons spread out. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. The balloons spread out and it's a good day. It's a good day, man. There we go. Zoom in out on the town hall because it's about to go down. Three, two, one. Hit it. There we are. <laughs> Check out this guy's name. I <laughs> Colonel Sanders with a K and a Z. Nice. Love your chicken, buddy. I never eat KFC anymore. I, I guess there isn't one near my house, but uh, hmm, KFC ain't bad. Probably will kill you if you eat too much of it, but... Uh, KFC ain't bad. Anyways, guys, Beaker's Lab wins. Second three-star for me this war. Of course, we're going up against easy bases, but that's my bread and butter, dude. I mean, I'm a lower-level Town Hall 9. I can attack lower-level Town Hall 9s. That's, that's how it goes. All right, buddies, we are going to end the raid on this one from Firehawk. This was a pretty sick raid. Look, we got a Gohog raid, which I love. You guys know I really miss the Gohog raids, man. I haven't done them in a while. It's been a real long time because I've just been doing the air attacks, trying to get better with the air attacks. And in some ways, I do think the air attacks are better. But anyway, let's go back to my love, the Gohog. And look at this army composition. Look at this spell composition. He has one heal? One? One? I usually use three, at least two, but he's going to try it with one. Let's see how this works, guys. So early rage spell, I like that. I always used to do that. That's going to help those wizards get in there and kill everything really fast. It's also going to help any wall breakers get in there, which they did. Now the jump spell secures the path all the way into the core. Wow. Looking good so far, guys. Looking good. Taking out the town hall and then some of those key defenses. Here go the hogs. Now the hogs are basically going to be cleanup. We know that. They are just cleaning up the base. And they only have one heal, so some of them are going to die. Let's be honest, you know. We can't save everybody. But there go the there goes the heal, and it's healing a lot of hogs already. And the rest of them are going to run through it right now. So did that surprise anybody else? I thought one heal would, would suck. I thought it would be terrible. I thought he would never get it. But because it was kind of a mid-level Town Hall 9, nothing too serious, he made it look easy. That looked sick. So great job, Firehawk. Great job showing us that one heal is enough. You know, I, I know it's enough, but generally I feel safer with more. <laughs> I'll be honest. You know, you use more heals and it's kind of easy. Especially if you use three or four, it, it seems very easy. So style points for him right there. Throwing in the wall breakers, getting those wizards out so they can help. What up, wizards? And look at these, uh, look at this group of hogs, man. Wow. Is that like 10 hogs? You can't stop this. You can't stop this mob running around the outside of the base. And hello, queen. Did you even get shot? Look at that. She has full health. So you can tell this was a really success, successful raid. What did he do here? Did he just throw it out a poison spell? Just nice. He threw it down on the clan castle name. <laughs> nice. I like it. Nice style. So there we go, guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final building going down. What was up top there? Looks like there was a little shrine to a, a builder's hut, I guess. Nice. Nice use of walls, dude. I really, really like that. 
it's a good way to use like 15 year walls or whatever that is so anyways guys thank you firehawk for a good raid man that was fun to watch i'm really missing the gohog i think i'll try it again soon but uh we got some more some more lava loon to do before that let me know what you're thinking guys i had a lot of fun today chilling on a sunday taking it easy uh, monday tomorrow but what are you gonna do anyways guys have a good week to all you guys i'll try to as well and i will see you guys next time peace